In the back half of this year, AMD will be releasing their all-new Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 series CPUs for the desktop DIY market. This new series will be on a totally new platform, and with that, a new socket. So many people in the hardware community are concerned whether or not they can reuse their existing AM4 cooler. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. This year we've got a lot of cool new hardware releases to look forward to. From new GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, and so much more. Amongst all the new upcoming hardware, we've got AMD's Zen 4 Ryzen 7000 series for the desktop. A lot of people, myself included, are quite excited about this new generation, as it will be on a new platform and bring with it big advancements when it comes to performance in various categories such as gaming, video editing, and more. This new platform is highly anticipated by many in the hardware community, as AMD will be bringing new features such as support for DDR5, PCIe Gen 5.0, and new USB standards. The next generation motherboards will also be sporting a new socket, and it will be a LAN grid array, or LGA socket, meaning that instead of having the pins on the CPU, the pins will be now integrated on the socket instead. While I'm not an expert on the advantage of using an LGA socket as opposed to PGA, the one thing I did like about PGA was the fact that if the pins on the CPU were bent, they were a lot easier to fix than trying to straighten them out on an LGA socket. I mean, most of you have probably seen or dealt with one of Intel's LGA sockets, and those pins are tiny. Just trying to even bend back one of them in such a narrow spot is a very convoluted task. And as you guys can see from the picture here, this new LGA 1718 socket style for AM4 has those same tiny pins. Anyways, I guess all you can do is just be very careful when installing your CPU, and making sure it aligns properly. Now one huge positive selling point that AM4 and this new LGA 1718 socket have is that it will be compatible with existing AM4 coolers. This was already confirmed by AMD back at CES 2022, as it clearly states at the bottom of the slide, compatible with AMD socket AM4 coolers. This right here is a huge deal to me, and it could be a major selling point for AMD to keep their existing user base. However, just because AMD says it will be compatible doesn't make it a for sure case. And it's still a vague statement. For all we know, they could have been just referring to their own AM4 stock coolers. Because aftermarket coolers have all sorts of various mounting hardware that comes with their units. It's not standardized. Noctua are using their own custom brackets to mount their coolers to the socket. Arctic uses something else. Deepcool has their own mounting variation. Along with that, depending on how their cooler and mounting mechanism is designed, they have to take into account the height of the socket, where the IHS placement is, clearance of other components around the socket like inductors, RAM clearance, and more. So until you have the clear go-ahead from manufacturers themselves, you can't be too confident on whether the cooler will even work with future gen hardware. With those various factors mentioned, I'm sure AMD has given out some engineering CPU and motherboard samples to manufacturers so that they can test and ensure their CPU coolers will be compatible and if some of them might need a modified bracket. I'm sure this is exactly what has happened over the past few weeks. We've seen various cooler manufacturers come out with press releases stating that their coolers will indeed work with AM5 motherboards, which is great. Noctua earlier this month had posted an update on their site regarding AM5 cooler compatibility. In short, all Noctua coolers and mounting kits that support AM4 are upwards compatible with socket AM5, except the NH-L9A AM4 and the NM-AM4-L9A L9I. Great names, guys. More specifically, since they mentioned that these backplate threads and their patterns are identical on AM4 and AM5, our AM4 mountings that attach to the standard AMD backplate also support AM5. So popular coolers like the NHD15 and NHU12S will be compatible with AM5 CPUs, and those are some really solid air coolers that will fulfill thermal requirements for most users, hence their popularity. Noctua has also posted a chart on their website, which I'll have a link to in the video description, and it shows compatibility of coolers across a wide variety of sockets. MSI have also taken the opportunity here to share that their coolers, such as the MEG, MPG, MAG Core Liquid Series CPU coolers, will also support AMD's AM5 socket without the need for new mounting brackets or other hardware changes. These coolers will support AM5 out of the box. 
Arctic, known for their very popular and well-performing Liquid Freezer 2 coolers, also recently made a statement regarding AM5 cooler compatibility. Since all mechanical dimensions remain identical, Arctic is able to guarantee the compatibility of its coolers with the new AMD processors, which I was very happy to see. I reviewed the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 last year, and it was a phenomenal cooler. It kept my 5800X very cool under load. The acoustics on it were fantastic, aesthetically it looked nice as well, so I'm glad that I can have the opportunity to continue CPU testing in the future with that cooler. I'm hoping that more manufacturers such as Corsair, Deepcool, Thermaltake, NZXT and more make similar statements soon for AM5 compatibility, or at the very least promise they'll offer users modified brackets to ensure their coolers will work if that is all it really comes down to. This to me, and I'm sure to many others, is a huge deal because as you guys all know, aftermarket CPU coolers aren't cheap, especially if you start getting into the dual and triple rad category or dual air tower cooler segment. So not being able to carry forward your CPU cooler would have been such a huge inconvenience, it would just add more expenses for anyone doing an upgrade or doing a new build. Another huge advantage of being able to reuse your old CPU cooler is that you'll be able to contribute to a greener environment and prevent less e-waste. I'm really glad that even though AMD will be using a new redesigned socket, they've engineered it in such a manner that the placement of the mounting holes is still the same as what had been used for AM4. I guess the nice thing is that even if your manufacturer doesn't explicitly say that their coolers will be compatible with AM5, you can still attempt to mount it anyways and there's a good chance it might still work. So for those of you who plan on upgrading to a Zen 4 CPU later this year when they hit the market, or you're going to be making a new build but will be salvaging some parts like the cooler from an old one, well rest assured then you can probably reuse that cooler. Personally, I'm really happy as I know I'll have two rigs which will be undergoing some upgrades and the fact that I can reuse my existing coolers rather than having to buy new models and spend more money definitely goes a long way. This will make the transition going from AM4 to AM5 even smoother. Take notes, Intel, because this is how you do it. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.